Caitlin Clark's historic rookie season has come to an end, but she left no doubt that the best is yet to come. The Indiana Fever Guard, who took the league by storm with her electrifying play, finished the year with a strong performance in Game 2 of the Fever's first-round playoff series against the veteran Connecticut Sun despite her heroics. Indiana fell short, losing 87-81, and saw their season come to a close. In Wednesday's Game 2, Clark played all 40 minutes, delivering a stellar all-around performance. She led the Fever with 25 points on 10 of 23 shooting, while also adding 9 assists and 6 rebounds. Clark's leadership helped Indiana battle back from an early deficit to take a lead late in the fourth quarter, giving the young team hope against a more experienced opponent. However, timely three-pointers and physical defense from the Sun proved too much for Indiana, and Connecticut advanced to the next round of the WNBA playoffs. After the game, Clark was reflective but optimistic about both her individual growth and the Fever's future. When asked about her off-season plans, she admitted that her sole focus had been on defeating the Sun, and she hadn't given much thought to what comes next. Jokingly, she mentioned she might pick up golf in the interim, at least until Indiana's cold weather sets in. I'll become a professional golfer, she quipped. However, Clark's reflections went much deeper when asked about her favorite moments from what has been a whirlwind 12 months, which included being drafted, reaching the WNBA playoffs, and playing in the NCAA National Championship game just a few months earlier. Rather than focusing on her on-court accomplishments, Clark spoke about the relationships she's built and the personal connections that have meant the most to her. Honestly, I feel like there's been so many amazing moments, but it's the moments that none of you see that I enjoyed the most, Clark said. It's not the basketball. It's the people I get to spend it with, whether it's my family, whether it's my teammates. That's what's made it special. Those are the people that know me the best. Those are the people I really care about. She continued by emphasizing the importance of those off-court relationships, saying that while the accolades and milestones are special, it's the support system around her that allows her to succeed. Yeah, there's been a lot of great moments, making the playoffs, getting drafted, getting to the national championship game, but at the end of the day, it's the people and the relationships and the memories outside, she said. If it's not for you as a professional athlete, I feel like you're doing it wrong. Championships are great, and hopefully we have a few of those, but you want to have really good relationships with people at the end of the day. Clark, who was named a first-team All-WNBA selection in her rookie season, has already proven herself to be one of the most dynamic players in the league. However, when asked to assess her own performance, she was measured, acknowledging that while she's proud of what she's accomplished, there is much more she can improve upon. I don't know how I'd grade myself. I'm a tough grader, but for me, the fun part is I feel like I'm just scratching the surface, Clark said. I'm one that's nitpicking every little thing I do, and I know I want to help this franchise get even better, help my teammates get better, be better for my teammates. Looking ahead, Clark is excited about the potential for growth, both individually and for the fever. I know there's a lot of room for me to continue to improve, so that's what excites me the most, she said. I feel like I can continue to get a lot better, and before we know it, I'm sure we'll all be back here and ready for the next year. Though Clark's rookie season ended with disappointment in the playoffs, her impact on the fever and the WNBA at large has been undeniable. As she looks toward her second season, Clark's combination of talent, work ethic, and perspective suggests that her future, and that of the fever, remains incredibly bright. With Clark leading the way, Indiana seems poised for a resurgence, with hopes of building a championship-caliber team in the years to come.